And we are back with U.S. Men's National Team midfielder Luca De La Torre. We'll begin with questions and start with Michael DeCourcy from the Sporting News. Yes, Luca, appreciate you taking the time. Congratulations. I, I wanted to ask you, uh, a week ago, 10 days ago, uh, Greg said that he expected when, when the Honduras players got to St. Paul, got out in the, in, the, in the weather for this game, that they would take a breath and they feel it like they never felt it before. As you played through that game, did you notice the, the adverse impact that those conditions were having on your opponents? Um, no, I think I was just focused on my own performance and the conditions were both difficult for both teams. Um, but yeah, the most important thing is winning the game. Next would be Paul Tenorio from The Athletic. Thanks, Michael. Um, Luca, a big moment for you to start in a game where this team needed three points. Uh, how, how did you feel when you learned you were starting? How did you feel about your performance? And um, what, do you, what was the, kind of the discussion amongst the team about uh, getting these three points in these conditions to, to kind of keep things in control ahead of March? Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, really big opportunity for me. In some ways, I've worked my whole life for this. Um, so I was just really happy to get the chance to start. And yeah, everyone was focused. It was definitely a must-win game. And yeah, we executed the plan well. They really didn't have a chance to come into the game 3-0. Next would be Drake Hills from the Tennessean. Hey, Luca, I wanted to ask you just about the, the trio with you, Weston, and, and, um, and Kellen. Um, from the outset, it just seemed, obviously, with Kellen's service on set pieces, um, you doing your part and Wes doing his part. I'm curious, how did that? How did you feel about the way you guys jailed in midfield? Um, and even for yourself, getting in front of some attacking opportunities as well. Yeah, I think it was good performance from all those guys. Um, Kellen played well, had really good set-piece deliveries, and Weston's a really good player. Uh, I enjoyed kind of linking up with him. Uh, so yeah, it was just, it was a good night. Next will be Jonathan Tannenwald from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Thank you, Michael. Luca, congratulations on everything tonight. I realize we've all asked all of you a million times about the call already, but from your perspective, what is the mental side of preparation for something like that and then dealing with it in the moment when you're out? Thanks and congrats on the win. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I think if you focus too much on the weather, then it can really kill you. Uh, if you're worried about how your body will react or, um, you know, all the negative things that can happen, then you can have problems. Uh, but I just tried to focus on in the moment and uh, especially in the second half, I, I didn't notice it very much. Next will be Sam Stasekel. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, Luca, for taking the time. Um, this was obviously your first start in qualifying, but just your second appearance in the cycle. What did it mean to you not just to get that opportunity, but to seize it with the kind of performance that you had? And, and how do you feel about where you stand in the pool moving forward into the final three matches of the of the title? Yeah, personally, I feel like I deserved that opportunity for a long time. Um, I've been in good form for my club, and every time I got the chance with the national team, in those substitute appearances, I felt I did well. So today I just did my best, and then it's, yeah, it's the manager's decision. But I'm happy with the way I played, so I can live with whatever happens after that. Next will be John Lupo from Vavil. Uh, Luca, you mentioned that you were just focused on your performance tonight. Talk about getting your first start of this window, and how did you think you uh, played out there tonight? And congratulations on the victory. Thanks. Um, yeah, I thought I thought I did well. Um, I just tried to carry the ball up the pitch, um, work hard off the ball, and yeah, it was just you know I felt like it was a performance that I usually have for my club, and it was good to be able to do that with the national team. Next would be Fabian Rankel from Area Sports Group. Hi, how's it going, Luca? Congrats on the win. I wanted to ask you, how are you feeling 
uh, linking up with the players in the national team, and how did you feel kind of grooving with them this this last game? Thank you. Yeah, really good. Uh, a lot of the guys I've played with quite a bit before, you know, like Weston, Christian, we've been playing together since we were like 13. Um, so it's quite easy to fit in with those guys. And yeah, when we play like we did today, it's it's enjoyable, you know, it's attacking football. It was on the ball a lot. So yeah, I just had a really good time. Thank you very much, Luca. We'll be right back with Walker Zimmerman.